This is Two Minute Toots, where we show you a digital fashion tip in two minutes or less. Today's tip is part of what I like to call my hidden gem series. Tools are functions that are either hidden or in plain sight, but often go unknown or unused. And today's tool is the tilde key. Now, half of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but if you look at your keyboard, it's the squiggle right underneath the escape key. And let me tell you, it does some pretty cool things. Take a look. Pressing tilde while using other functions allow for easy manual use of the tool. For instance, hide small flaws in a pattern swatch or ensure the exact pattern placement by pressing tilde while on the selection tool. Click and drag the pattern to place your print exactly where it looks best on your sketch. Use tilde with the rotate tool to manually rotate a pattern to follow the correct grain of the design. Being able to do this manually is so much easier than trying to guess what the angle is supposed to be. And to manually reduce or enlarge a pattern, use the tilde key with the scale tool. Note that as you use this key, you will only see a box get bigger or smaller, rotate or move. In order to see the new position of your pattern, you must let go of your mouse button. One last trick to share, tilde can also be used to continuously duplicate an object. Try this with your shape tools for some fun spirograph effects. Okay, not really a practical fashion tip, I know, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so that is this week's digital fashion tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And hey, make sure you subscribe if you found it useful and wanna see more videos like this one with me, your digital fashion guru. Have an absolutely fantastic week and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.